Hey guys, what's up? It's Reed with Breek Arms, and I'm here today to unveil our latest product, the Breek Lock. Breek Lock is a QD system, a quick detach system for suppressors. And in this video, we're gonna get into the ins and outs of the device. We're gonna do an installation. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get this thing mounted onto your firearm. I'm gonna show you disassembly, and we're also gonna walk through maintenance of the hub as well. So let's get into it. All right, so the Breek Lock is a true quick attach and quick detach system. On your muzzle devices, you're gonna see two lugs and you're gonna to wanna to use the included peel washer to time that in the vertical position. On your hub, you're going to align those two lugs with your lock symbol in the unlock position at 12 o'clock. And you'll know when that's aligned properly because it will seat into the hub, just like it did there. You see the unlock symbol at 12 o'clock. The first motion you're gonna make is gonna be inward towards the firearm in order to compress the wave spring on the inside of that hub. Once you've compressed that spring, you're gonna rotate 90 degrees, at which point you're gonna hear an audible click and you're gonna really feel that hub engage with the muzzle device, just like that. From there, you're gonna give about an additional one and a half to two turns to mate the taper on the hub to the taper on the muzzle device, and that's fully installed. So what sets the Breek Lock system apart? First of all, it's gonna be the titanium construction. Aside from that internal wave spring, which is a 17.7 stainless, the entire Breek Lock system is made of titanium. Due to its small size and efficient design, your hub system is actually only gonna tip the scales at 2.4 ounces. Then when you add together that with your muzzle devices, which are a hardened 4140 and nitride coated, each of those is only gonna weigh about two ounces, depending on the caliber. Adding that together, you're at about 4.4 ounces of overall weight added to your firearm. Additionally, due to its small size, that Breek Lock, when added to your suppressor and placed on your firearm, is only gonna add about 1.2 inches of overall length. The Breek Lock features a taper-to-taper -taper mounting interface, which does two very important things for us. The first of which is it allows shooters a rock-solid mounting system that gives them repeatable point of impact. Secondly, when you add the labyrinth rings to the tapers, it creates a very robust seal that prevents carbon from entering the hub mechanism, which eliminates that dreaded carbon lock. One of the cool features about this design is that we included a ratcheting mechanism in the Breek Lock system, which allows additional retention and makes sure that that suppressor isn't going to back off during heavy use. The Breek Lock system is made using a 1.375 by 24 thread pitch making it compatible with a wide range of suppressors. Any suppressor manufacturer that uses that industry standard hub, the Breek Lock system will work with. But what truly sets the Breek Lock system apart is its effortless installation. It allows for a very rapid installation and removal, eliminating complex maneuvers, multiple step processes, and tools to install your suppressor. The installation of your new Breek Lock system is very straightforward. After ensuring that your firearm is unloaded, the first thing you're gonna do is remove your old muzzle device. You'll then install your new Breek Lock two lug muzzle device using the provided peel washer to time it so that your lugs are in a vertical orientation. We do recommend using rock set on this. So once you've got that timing figured out, we're gonna have you apply that rock set and then using a three quarter inch box wrench or an armorer's wrench, uh, install that muzzle device and torque it down to about 20 to 30 pounds. Let that rock set cure overnight around 24 hours and you should be good to go. And this step is complete. Installation of the Breek Lock onto your suppressor is just as simple. You're gonna take your Breek Lock and thread it onto any hub compatible suppressor. We do recommend using rock set on these threads as well. Once you've got that threaded into place, you're gonna use a 37 millimeter socket, which can be purchased on our site or anywhere that you buy tools. Uh, if you don't have a 37 millimeter socket, what you can do is use a smooth walled vise to actually grab onto the flats on the side of that Breek Lock. You're gonna come over top of that and you're gonna to torque that down to 20 foot pounds and that step is done as well. Disassembling and cleaning your Breek Lock is also very straightforward. In order to do this, you're gonna hold your suppressor in an upright position and back the cap off completely. Taking note as you remove the cap, the order of its internal components. After removing these, and if you lose track of what order these go in, you can reference uh, the instructions in your packet or you can download our instructions from the website as well. 
But once you've removed them, you're gonna take this out, throw them in an ultrasonic cleaner or get out your toothbrush. You're also gonna take a rag and wipe off that muzzle device, making sure to remove any carbon that's built up there and the inside of your hub body that's still attached to your suppressor. From there, we reinstall. When reinstalling, we recommend putting some anti-seize on the threads and the flats of your cap, just like you see here. From there, you're gonna take your washer and set it inside then your wave spring. And finally, you're gonna take your detent ring, aligning the flats on the detent ring with the flats on the inside of your cap. You'll know that this is installed properly when you can safely press down and feel that wave spring. You're gonna hold your suppressor upright again and thread the cap back onto the body of the brake lock. You'll do this until the detent ring begins to engage. If it doesn't begin to align those detents just like it did there, back it off and retighten. Then you're ready to go shoot. The more you use your brake lock system, the more comfortable and natural it's gonna feel going through that installation and removal motion. We are extremely grateful for you guys checking out this video. We're excited about this product. We look forward to hearing what you guys have to think and say about the Breek Lock system. If you have any questions for us, you can hit us up on our website, you can email us at sales at breekarms.com or you can hit us up on social media. And as always, we will see you out at the range. Thanks guys.